guy's gonna do a handstand right here at the end of the world. Oh shit! Yeah, I know. It's, it's not gonna be easy, my man. I did not have any plans of shooting a video today, but my friend messaged me. Hold on, let me take this to the security guard real quick. Hello. All right, this is, as you can see, this is where we, <laughs> the security guard holds all the water for the building, so. All right, yes. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I didn't have plans to shoot a video today, but my friend said, hey, there's a big storm coming tomorrow. Let's go ride, because he just got a, I, if you follow me on Instagram, I was actually teaching him how to ride a manual bike, and so he got himself one. Um, he's supposed to be leaving town in two weeks, so. He wants to go on a ride to Santra Mountains, so we're gonna go now. What my neighbor got. I don't know when he got this. But look, I just looked out here at the entrance and I see a big board. But, alright, I'm gonna talk to him. Maybe I can try it one day. But yeah, let's go. You guys will be, throughout the whole ride, you guys will be on my head right here. So, let's go. If you are looking for a Vietnamese place that does not have English, um, just look for the word chai. It's, it's, it means vegetarian, but um, I don't think anything has eggs or milk in there, so I think it's vegan, but they usually say just chai which literally means vegetarian but it's vegan all right so i'm gonna go now and then let's go ride i don't know if there's anything fun or exciting but i'm just gonna show you around we're just gonna go ride we don't know where we're going we just know we're gonna ride in the mountains so let's figure it out That's good. You ready? <laughs> uh, you want to go here or another way? There are two ways to go up there. So how are you liking your bike so far? <laughs> right now we're all the way in Santra right now. If we go this way, we're just going to start going up the mountain. But now we're going to... Ah, there it is. We're going to try to go all the way up here. We're going to go on another way. And then we'll come down this way. Make sure the bike is manual. Yeah. <laughs> He's taking a shower. <laughs> yeah. Really cool spot. I thought I was recording, but we just basically passed like in the clouds, we could see them. But we just got to this spot. Let's see. You can see them. We're gonna actually keep going down here. So we can see, this is the white um, balloon thing I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. It's for the, the military apparently. But look at this view. It's very relaxing. Santra is like 10-15 minutes up here. 
and if you want to just come here relax and look at the city I like this yeah and for this guy who wakes up every morning and goes to watch the sunset every this, morning sunset every morning yes. <laughs> like at 5 30 yes sunset every morning yeah, yeah. <laughs> i've done it once <laughs> i did it once and i had a very long day because i could not keep my eyes open by the end of the day and but yeah every evening sunrise sunset <laughs> ah and this guy wanted to try his new bike now he he's probably gonna go back to ukraine and buy one <laughs> maybe after this trip i uh, will not go you will not go home yeah <laughs> stopped here I've seen this place before but never actually went up there um, so you'll see that we saw a few monkeys on the road there is this monkey that is a very special monkey that's only specific to this area in, in, in Vietnam and it's hard to see I've never seen it most people have never seen it but supposedly if you catch them at the right time you'll you'll get to see a very rare species of of, of a monkey so we, I've been trying to see it, but we just see the other types that you just saw. All right, guys. So today we're riding. Today is a different day. Now, while riding, remember this. Oh, you can't see it very well. But the monkey that I told you that's very rare and then you can only find it in this area of um, Vietnam. Today is another day and I'm actually in the process of editing the next video now. And we just ran into those monkeys. But right now I'm actually in front of the... Uh, 800 year old tree right here and with a nice background here but i'm just happy i got to see those monkeys finally because we might never ever see them again um people it's very rare that somebody sees them a lot of photographers and people post on the facebook groups hey where can i see those monkeys and most people never see them so we were so so fortunate to actually see it on my birthday so here's the footage yes this is the special one Hey, hey. I don't think you can see it well. Wow. Shall you go? Gotta get it right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're one of the lucky ones. But I'm gonna finally go up here to see what it's about. Because a lot of people come up, up, up here. And the views are amazing up here. Oh, there you go. That's the name. That's the Golden Bay Hotel, which we stayed in last year this time. So, when you finally make it up here. Ah. This is where this is. I've seen everybody. Man. It feels like the, the, the ocean never ends. I guess you can play this game. I've been meaning to learn it. You want to give a message to your fellow Ukrainian? Stelo Shusani. I want to say hello <laughs> to my mom, dad. Ah, okay. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Literally. It's not moving. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> oh, nice. I think down. Yeah. 
All right, so we changed our mind. Um, we're actually not gonna go home just yet since we have a little more time. So we came here. We're gonna go to explore the secret beach. Maybe they'll take us down. Ah, man. I think because of the rain uh -huh. and, and the, the, the storm, I think the, the whole thing fell. Oh, man. I don't know if we can go. But usually we do, we do follow this. Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? Let's go check another way. Let's check this way. Uh, all right. Yeah, after, after the last storm, this place is destroyed, so it's not easy to go down there. We'll see. <laughs> hmm. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> Man, the last storm destroyed this place. All right. You think there's a way down? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> when you're explorers, that's what happens. Looks like there may be a way. Maybe. A way. Maybe. Wish us luck. <laughs> what? I'm saying, wish, wish me luck uh. that we find a good way back up here. Maybe it's not the best idea to come out here with slippers. We're literally walking in a path that the water made. Be careful with your stuff. Monkeys will steal them here. I think we we found a way down here. <laughs> did we come I can, right place? Huh? Yeah, we did. Yay. We found it. <laughs> you want to go out tomorrow during the storm? Go go running. Woohoo! Mommy, surfing. look at me. I was surfing. <laughs> Hell no. Surfing. That's a suicide mission. We have a little bit of the view here. So we did find it. We came down from the jungle. Come all the way down here. Usually the water is all the way up here and we have to climb over this rock. But this time I can actually walk. And there you go. Nice little secluded private beach. Oh! It's not so private, there's two people fishing. But there's actually a cave in there that I'm gonna... Uh, I guess I'll have to go in with my clothes because I didn't come ready to go to the beach. So I think maybe we might actually just go in with our shorts. Just go home wet, doesn't matter. But there is a little cave here I want to show you guys. And if you do happen to come here, do not leave your stuff unattended here because I've seen monkeys grabbing my food from my plastic bag right here before the cave is right here behind this rock where it says Kamta all right I'm gonna try to my have I have rubber I'm gonna try to see if I can show you guys the, the cave there you go <laughs> all right I made it All right. Oh no. Ah, oh, they got me. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, now I have to find another opportunity to go back out there. Oh no. All right, after this one, we're gonna run out. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Go. Oh. <laughs> I made it. Ah. So, this is the little cave. I've been in here laid down. Very relaxing. A lot of you guys might think this is boring. But once you do it, you get out here in nature. Like sometimes staying inside, you just don't feel right. And you just get outside and you breathe fresh air. And it makes a big difference. Doing this actually makes me happy. This is creating a life worth living for me. No plans whatsoever, we just decided, hey, we both have manual bikes, now we can go up to Sancho Mountains. We decided to go out together. Now he's gonna 
play some soccer for no reason just like when you used to be kids is this you want to swing on it you want to try to swing on it yes try it i know you used to do the dancing <laughs> This is probably for the monkeys. They probably enjoy this a lot more than we do. <laughs> and there's another nice beach out here. There's a bunch of them everywhere here. That's, that's why I love the Neng so much. There's so much to do in such a small amount of space. There's the city, the beach, mountains. You can do um, paragliding if you want to. I have a fear of heights and that's one thing I want to try one day. Paragliding. Um, if some of you guys want to try it with me, let me know. I want to try uh, skydiving too in Dubai probably. Um, I'm afraid of it, but I want to do it. I have to do it just to get over the fact that, you know, it's been holding me back for so long. I just want to do something I know I don't feel good doing. So, yeah. Baseball, let me see you. Oh, okay. Let's try another one. Ready? Woo! <laughs> All right. Where <Wait>, you? Oh. <laughs> Don't drop it. All right. Oh man. This is all in our backyard, 15 minutes from home. Anyways, I think I've tried to explain it enough. It's not easy to explain it to you guys. What is it? Today is Tuesday. Woke up, said, hey, it's sunny today. Let's go out. And we just went out. And now we're going to go back home and probably go in the water. I don't know. But that's what I mean by create a life worth living. Whatever the hell you want to do, do it. We don't have bathing shorts or anything with us, but we're gonna go anyway. So he says that's where he comes to watch the sunrise in the morning. So usually we would come from here, but this time we went all the other way around, but usually people just come right up here. It's like 15 minutes from the Neng. The Neng is on the other side. But yeah, a lot of wedding pictures happen here. Basically all of Vietnamese and foreigners at least come here once to take a picture with this view. If, I, if there's nothing else for me to show you, we're just gonna ride home. But until next time, say, create a life worth living. Create a life worth living. <laughs> That's right. See you guys next video. See you.